Hey everybody, it's Tiffany Malott here, coming to you from down under. I've been in Melbourne, Australia for about 24 hours now. I think my face says that. Uh, my eyes look crazy, it's because it's been crazy. But uh, we had wonderful travels, incredible, um, incredible journey. Uh, a long, long flight, three planes, but my daughter did well, everyone is here, and we're really, really excited. So I wanted to have this webinar. Uh, I wanted this topic, if you saw the Facebook post, it said, you know, oh no, Tiffany Malotte's down under, what do I do? And I said, keep calm and plug into the themalotte's.com, because I really want you guys to understand that just because I am uh, in another country, doesn't mean that I'm not here for you. It doesn't mean that John Malott is not here for you. It doesn't mean that we're not going to be here to guide you and help you in your business. Uh, because really, we've been supporting you long distance. You know, we've been supporting you long distance pretty much since you got started in the business. Some of you, the only time I see you is when we get a chance to come together at our incredible secret conventions, which by the way, remember, is coming up at Ignite in September, so make sure you're registered. Um, but I, I really pretty much, for those of you who I get a chance to work with, you either see me this way or you see me on a Sunday webcast or we're together on, on the phone or Skype or FaceTime or we are texting. So nothing changes. That's the beauty of this time. 15 years ago, um, I was in a situation where if my sponsor left the country, I was looking for another sponsor um, because we didn't have the technology for free that allows us to use our phones, our laptop computers. We didn't have these devices. Um, and so that's how long I've been in network marketing. And that's why I'm so excited about us being able to communicate this way. So what I decided to do uh, for this webinar is to just do nothing but Q&A. Um, I just want to be here for you to answer your questions. You know, we're going into Ignite. It's not too late to get to Ignite. It's not too late to qualify for executive. It's not too late to break an executive. It's not too late to um, to have some more wild parties, put some mud on people, rank and dance, and book your flights and get your hotel. Uh, if you can't stay at the hotel, get another hotel. Just get to the event. Um, so all I want to do is just Q&A. I want to be here for you guys for the time that we have together to answer your questions. So I'm going to uh, be going kind of back and forth and, um, and taking your questions so I can answer those for you guys and see what's going on. Here's the first one for today. All right, the first one for today says, Tiffany, can you share how you use Skype and FaceTime for virtual WOW parties and how you book, coach, coach close, and follow up with online guests? Do you send sample regimens? Do you do one-on-one -on -one or in a group? How do you facilitate Google Hangout? Thank you for all, oh, thank you for you and John's amazing talent and leadership, and you're so welcome. All right, so let's talk about that because this is really, really important. So, and I just started this off by talking about technology. Um, now remember, uh, I grew up in network marketing hearing, uh, high tech leads to high touch. And the whole point of that was to remind people that the only reason you send a video, the only reason you send someone to your website, the only reason you use technology is the high touch. So you use the high tech to lead to high touch, which means you get belly to belly. One thing I want you to remember is that this business is belly to belly. That's the whole point of this profession. That's the whole point of secret. We want to interact with people. We are not the company that ignores the products. We're not the company that leaves the products in a box and puts body lotion next to a gas, and that's it. We demonstrate these products. Because even if you get someone signed up with uh, without the products, even if you just rub some hand cream on somebody and they're like, oh, the best hand cream I've ever had and I'm in and they sign up, it still, guys, doesn't, it, their, their belief level isn't high because now you've put, you've done something with them that everyone can do. Any skincare company with any person can just rub some hand cream on someone, some lotion on somebody, but did you get rid of the wrinkles? Did you help them decrease their acne? Did you provide a glow that they never had before? So the high tech leads to high touch. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get in front of the guest and put these products on them. So we know that. Most of us, and I will say, I know some of y'all is looking for a shortcut. 
I'm look, I know I'm not supposed to answer your question, baby, but let me just step off for a minute. Some of y'all are looking for a shortcut. Some of y'all think, no, there are other companies out there that are not putting products on people and they're blowing up. They're not putting products on people, guys, because they don't have a product. They don't have a good product. They leave it in the box because crap stays in boxes. They don't pull their products out because the products stink, because the products don't work, because the products are a bunch of bull, and it's just an excuse to get people to join a marketing company and manipulate a compensation plan. The reason why we have chosen as a company not to be like everyone else is number one, people are tired of games, number one. Number two, when you have magic in a bottle, you don't leave it in the bottle. And number three, the secret company, before the network marketing side even started, when we got here, they had done over $600 million by demonstrating products. Now, granted, the product, the, the, the process was a little rough. Kiosk, you know, them trying to pull you over, them being fairly aggressive and trying to get you to buy their products, is because they were in a hostile environment. When you have to stand in traffic and mall, you know, you learn to get aggressive, okay? But... They still sold these products. And now they've sold over a billion dollars worth of these products from demonstrating the products. So what we consciously as a leadership group decided to do, um, and, the, and our CEO has said, this is what we're going to do. What we decided to do was stay true to the fact that they worked all these years to make this skincare line like no other, to give wow factor products, to make sure people said this is different, to actually they spent time, they spent money, they spent research dollars on creating products that allow us to give a person something that other skincare lines can't, and that is immediate results. So I know some of y'all are not doing that, and you're gonna get some success for a little while, but it's gonna fall apart because you're building on you're building on hype, you're building on charisma, you're not building on the products. And the reason why we focus so much on the products is that's our unfair advantage. And anybody anywhere can deliver those products. Most people can't stand in a room and just talk for an hour and get people to go, oh, I'm in. That can't duplicate. So I did a little sidebar, but I want you guys to understand I have made this money by leaning on the products. And so what I want you guys to understand is we use high tech to get to high touch. Our whole point is to get the products on the people. Not to avoid it, not to just get them to buy $1,600 worth of products because we have a great comp plan, because we have great timing, because I'm an awesome leader. Because guess what? Pretty soon there's going to be another great comp plan. There's going to be another great company with great timing. And there's going to be another great leader. And if you don't stand, if you don't set yourself apart, then they're just going to trade your box for somebody else's because nobody's opening them up except for secret. So now that I've done that, now we still, even though a person's long distance, we want to get their products, the products on them. So this was our whole challenge. Our whole challenge was, okay, we do these amazing wild parties. We get the products on people. They fall in love with the products. Even if they don't want to be an agent, they go home with products. So what we have to do is we have to find a way to do that long distance. Thus, this type of platform, Skype. FaceTime. So what we started doing a few years ago is we started making our own regimen kits because you don't want to spend $500 worth of products to someone just so they could try it out. I mean, that's insane. You don't send a premium package to someone so they can try it out. And then they say, oh, let me spend another $600 for a premium package. And now they've got double products. So what we needed was a way to give them samples of it. And so the company didn't have a sample regimen. So the company acts. So we, as agents, came up with our own way to do samples. We came up with these little jars, little paint pots, if you will. We put salt and oil scrub in one and labeled it. We put body butter on one and labeled it. We put cleansing milk. We put the whole regimen, the main products that they would be using, and we would put it in a little, in a box, in a priority box, and ship it to someone. I've done these from South Florida to, to Canada, shipped it to someone, and then met them on Skype or FaceTime on my computer, and then I actually did the wild party. And yes, I had my flip book with me, and I went through what I would go through with them if I was in person. So this is how you're going to share this with people who are long distance. Now, thankfully, the company has done the sample regiments. Now, let me share this with you guys because, you know, I know people sometimes don't like to hear me say this, but I actually helped develop the sample regiment. And the sample regimen was not a sample campaign to just flood everybody with reg samples and just throw them at people and spend five, six bucks just to throw samples at people and say, oh, use them when you get ready. 
the sample regimen was designed, the sample regimen was designed to be your wild party. So to send someone a wild party because I can't send you a premium kit because I can't send you $600 worth of products and then hope you like it because it was designed. So what I would do with you, if you lived in my town, I can do with you, even though you don't, that's what the sample regimen was for. So that's why you're supposed to put the address in and send it to them. And in it, it has a full regimen for the face. And now we've got these awesome, awesome little secret pots. You can then, if you want to add salt and oil scrub and body butter and send it all to them. And so now we send this regimen. That's what the sample regimen was designed for. It was designed to allow you to do a wow party. It was designed to allow you to do a wow party with someone very far from you. Very, very far from you. And you don't have to worry about, oh, when I see them on vacation in September, then I'll do a wow party. No, by September, someone else in secret could have gotten to them. Or worse yet, someone in another company could have gotten to them. So now you could say, oh, I may not be in Massachusetts, but guess what? I can do a wild party in Massachusetts. So I send the sample regimen, send that sample regimen, put it in the mail. And here's what I do. I don't cross my fingers and say, call me after you use it. I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. And I don't depend on the tools, uh, the videos to do it for me. I do what I would do if I was in Massachusetts. I would drive over there and I would pull out my stuff and I'd open up my flip book or my five and five. I still like a flip book, y'all. And I would go through it with them and make sure they put that mud on. That's what I still do. So if I'm sending it to Joe in Massachusetts, I am going to put the sample regimen in the mail. And guess what? You can buy them in bulk so you can send them priority if you want to. So you can control how fast they get to them. Maybe someone's chomping at the bit. Order you a bunch of them. I have, well, I had, I'm in Australia right now. Um, but I had a whole bunch of them at home in a box so I could just reach in. If I wanted to send it express, it was worth it to me to do that $13 because I know I'm going to get a VIP customer. But, or priority. And I would send it to Joe in Massachusetts. And then I would say, Joe, don't open it when you get it. Okay, I put one in there for you and one for your wife. Don't open it. When are you available? And then Joe would say, hey, we are free Saturday at noon, your time. And I'd be like, that's 9 o'clock. My time, no problem. In my calendar, I would have wild party with Joe and his wife in Massachusetts. And then they would come on on Skype or FaceTime. I would come on like this. Um, and you don't have, you can use Google Hangouts, you can use any platform that allows you to see them real time like we are right now. And then I would just tell them, I would text them and say, hey guys, I'll see you on our platform, whichever one you choose. Make sure you have cotton pads and make sure you have mirrors. And they would be there sitting just like this. And I'd be like, hey guys, and they would have cotton pads and they would have mirrors and boom, I would take them through it. And because it's quick, because it is only one or two people. Um, I'm doing the exact same thing that I would do in person. I'm doing 30 seconds, 15 to 45 seconds on each page. I'm explaining it. And just like if they were in person, they're like, okay, get it. And they're following the book and they're listening to me and they're like, yeah, get it. I do everything the exact same. And then I say, now it's time to clean your face, choose one half and I can see them. So if they're doing it wrong, it doesn't matter. And I go through all of that. I go through all of that, and then at the end, guess what I still do? I still invite them to participate. What do you like best? Do you see yourself earning extra cash with us? Hey, you could do this with your guests, right? And I've shown them now in person. Joe, if I was in person with you, I would, I would actually, if I lived in the same city, I'd be doing this, but we're doing this long distance. Uh, we have a system that you can do this in person with your people or long distance just like I did with you. And then I sign them up for whatever they want to sign up with. I help them participate the way they want to participate. And then guess what? I use the same platform to take them through a blueprint. I use the same platform to teach them how to do a wild party. I've had people text me pictures or show me through Skype or FaceTime. They're set up for their wild party. And I said, okay, you want to change that or you want to change that? And I've also, through technology, made myself available to close out or share my story or help them in wild parties or one-on-ones. It's the exact same thing. It's just now you do it virtually. And as great as these platforms are, look, I mean, it's like I'm real to you. You're right there, and they are right there. All you have to do is make sure they have the product. So this is my suggestion, and I do know as independent agents, people put spin on things. They're like, no, don't use the regimen. You can do it cheaper this way. But here's the thing, guys. Everything you do must duplicate. Don't do what works. Do what duplicates. You know, someone will tell me, hey, I signed up five people, and they all got big packages, 
and I didn't even have to put products on them. Well, what did you do? Well, I just talked to them. I told them how great the comp plan was. I told them how much money I was making, how much money my upline was making. I was doing this and this, and I said, okay, that's awesome. Now, what happens when you're not there and those five people have to do the same thing? Can they all talk like you? Next week, are they all going to be able to do the same thing you did? Next week, are they all going to be able to show a check and say, hey, I made $1,000 last week? Are they all going to be able to just put body lotion on someone's hands and say, now let me break this down to you because you've got years of network marketing experience, but they're brand new. So the reason why we do it this way is because not only it works, it duplicates. So to the person who had that question, I hope this answers your question. Um, I would do the same thing with coaching. I would do the same thing with one-on-ones. I would do the same thing with blueprints. And remember, everything you're doing long distance with person is training. Everything we do with agents, it's not just getting them in or helping them have success, it's teaching them. It's just like children. We are the example to our children. You are the example to your new agents. So everything you do duplicates, good or bad. So if you want your organization to grow long distance, I suggest, and I give this homework assignment to everyone, send out sample regimens, at least one per week. Invest $5 in your future. $5 over 52 weeks is 250 bucks a year. Even if you only got one agent, one agent, right, who got a pro pack, you made 150 of it back, and they haven't even on the, on the enroller bonus. And that's one out of 52. Guys, you know you're going to get agents. You know you're going to get, uh, you know you're going to get agents. You know you're going to get VIP customers. You know you're going to make that money. So $5 a week, send a sample regimen to someone, and don't just hope they open it and let them get to it when they want. Call ahead and say, this is going to be there. Because I didn't send it snail mail, or I, I bought a whole bunch of them. I put it in I priority mail. So I know on Thursday, you're going to get this package. And don't open it. When are you available? Are you available Thursday, Friday, or Saturday? Because I'd love to take it, for you per take it with you personally. I want you to experience what I would do with you in person. We're going to do it through technology. You've got Skype on your phone. You've got Google Hangout. It's free. Let me show you how to do it. It's downloading a couple of apps, guys, and it's helping them do exactly what we're doing right now. That's how I would do it, and I would teach them to do the same, and your business will grow exponentially. <clears throat> it will grow exponentially. So I hope that helps. Um, let me go to the next question. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see here. Live Q&A. Okay, guys. Um, um, if you have a question, I am looking at this now. Okay, here we go. Come up with another one. Um, and so while I'm doing this, uh, while I'm going on with the Q&A, looking for the questions. Back to questions. Here's another one. In an effort to get secret in front of people and introduce your new business, will you give us the web page you use when contacting a prospect for the first time? Thank you. All right, let me read this again so everyone can hear it. In an effort to get secret in front of people and introduce your new business, will you give us the verbiage you use when you when contacting a person for the first time? Um, guys, okay, so remember, all of this is it's 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 not it's not fancy, okay? It's no fancy footwork. I don't have a script. And this is why I have success. I don't have a script, I have guidelines. One thing, the first guideline I always follow is the less said, the best said. All right, my philosophy is if I can't show them everything, I don't show them anything. And here's what I mean by that. I'm not gonna just start talking to a person about a whole bunch of stuff about secret just because I'm excited and I got them in front of them. I'm actually going to play it smart and it may take a week longer, it may take a month longer but I'm going to do it right because I only get one chance to make a first impression. And what we have to stop doing in this profession, but I don't want us to do it in secret at all, is to be the weirdo that has to go through everything um, because we've got to get you now because we, we've got to get you signed up right now. Okay, so um, basically what I would say is I believe in, in uh, asking people and in, in speaking to their need. I really believe in WIIFM, what's in it for me. You know, they say everyone's tuned into the same radio station, W-I-I-F-M. It stands for what's in it for me. So a lot of times the mistake that we make, the, a lot of times the mistake that we make in, in our profession, in secret, is we actually, we actually think about ourselves instead of thinking about the person we're talking to. 
And so, in fact, all of us do this at some point, especially in the beginning, because we're excited. We want to hit the next rank. We want to get our money back. We want to prove to the naysayers that it's not that it is going to happen. And so all we think about is ourselves. That's it. All we care about is us and what they're going to do. So basically, we'll go and we'll talk to them and we'll just talk about, we'll throw up on them, we'll tell them everything, we'll talk about money, 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 because we need to make some money, when really we haven't thought about them at all. We haven't asked them what they want, we haven't, we haven't built a rapport, or even if you know them or not, you've got to have some type of rapport. So personally, I believe WIIFM, you should speak to their need. You should start off by speaking to the people that you know well, more market list. And I believe a great way to do this is to actually say, you know, is to think about what they always talk about, is to use your ears before you use your mouth. So let's just say I always talk about working in the factory on third shift, not being able to spend time with my daughter, always feeling tired and not having enough money to take my family around the world or travel. And so you think about it and say, well, this is what she's always talking about. And so you would come to me and you say, Tiffany, you know how... You're looking for a way to spend more time with your daughter and be able to take your family on those vacations. And I would say, yeah, well, I think I may have found something that could help you with that. Now, it may be for you. It may not be for you. But, hey, I'd love to shoot you a four-minute video so you can take a look at that. All right? It's four minutes. I'm going to text it to you. Once you watch it, then tell me what you like best, okay? And that's really what I would do. Now, we teach in the texting there are some people that you're so familiar with, the, like the last 10 to 15 people you send a text message with, you're texting all the time. You could just send them a text message and say, watch this video and let the video do the talking for you. <clears throat> and so I do believe you should do that. You have people and it's not about what do you say. It's not about what you say, it's what you do. And so you send those people a video and say, watch this video. And that's it. The more words you say, the less action they're going to take because they're listening to you instead of watching the video. So you tell have them watch the video. Watch the video. What do you like best? And then you go through the contact and inviting. And there is a webinar on this Malat.com of John Malat going through the contact and inviting, texting the video. And you should watch that. Whoever asks this question or if you're unsure and you're still trying to figure out what to say, guys, the answers have been put out. Do the contacting and inviting video on the Malat.com in our um, training area. Uh, in the training vault, I believe. And that's where you'll see it. It's contact and inviting with John Malott, texting. My husband has recruited tons of people over his time and texting, he's helped a lot of people recruit people texting. So make sure you do that. If you feel like you can't just send a text message, then just do what I did and speak to their need. You know how Tiffany, you're tired of working two jobs? Well, I think I may have found something that can help you with that. All right, here's why I like that because you're thinking about me. So I say, you remember that I was complaining about that? Ding! That's something I like because most people don't care about each other anymore, so they're not listening to each other, much less thinking about them at a time when they're not right in front of them. Second thing is you want to help me? Ding! That's awesome. Okay, great. And then it's like, look, you may or may not be interested or it may, it may be for you, it may not be. Here's why. Ding! You just gave me a way out. If it's not for me and I want to stay on these two jobs, you said it's okay. And I say, it's okay, we are, will still be cool. And then the fourth thing is, I'm gonna send you this four minute video. Who does not have time to send a four, to watch a four minute video? Watch a four minute video, it talks about the Dead Sea, it talks about the body, it talks about skincare, and it's done so well, it piques interest. Guys, the reason why you send these tools, the four minute video, the, the other videos, it's not to get a person signed up, it's to pique interest. It's to make them say, I want a little bit more. Okay, I'll watch this next video on manufacturing. I want a little bit more. Okay, I'll watch this next video on the opportunity. I want a little bit more. Okay, I will come to your house um, and come to your wild party. Then remember, you don't show them anything if you can't show them everything. Now we do the whole thing and now they can make a, a good decision. All right, so that's the verbiage. And if you're worried about getting it in front of a lot of people, just text a lot of people the video. And I don't mean a group text, that's so impersonal. I mean, Text 25 people in the next 24 hours. You will have people following up with you, people who want to meet this weekend, people who want to meet next week, people who want to meet next one, month, but you can start filling your calendar. All right? So that is how you do it, guys. That's it. It's simple. It's not, it's not difficult. And it is what you have to do. Um, and, and it's no, you don't need a banner ad. You know, all these people come up with all this fancy stuff. I'm not trying to be funny, but they don't make the most money. They just get you to spend a lot of money saying you can reach more people, but they haven't reached all the people yet. So let, just trust me. 
take do send 25 text messages out say watch this video or let's meet for coffee or do you have a minute to talk and then say hey do you remember when you said you wanted to stop working two jobs do that and just get them on your calendar that's all you got to do <clears throat> so you can get in front of them and make mud uh, and put mud on them okay all right what is the best way to explain the value of the replenishment to agents okay all right, so let's do this one. Uh, what is the best way to explain the value of the replenishments to agents? Point blank is this. Everybody has to be vested in the company, basically. So everyone makes, every agent makes a financial contribution to the company, and that is your replenishment. It has to be a minimum of 35 BV. Here's the first reason. That replenishment allows you to accrue your volume, okay? We get paid on volume. If you don't have an active replenishment, then your volume flushes. Literally, imagine flushing down the toilet. That means you use the volume, so you, you lose it. So any spillover, any volume that you could have gotten a check for, because volume creates our binary match, which creates our team commission, which gets paid to us in the form of a check or, uh, or you know, a check for our commissions. So this is what happens. When you don't have that replenishment, you're not holding volume. When you don't hold volume, you don't get paid. So if you want to make money, you must have a replenishment. It is a business investment, 50 bucks a month. We have one of the lowest in-network marketing guys. There are companies that's making people spend three times that, four times that, five times that. There are companies that once a person hits a new rank, they raise it 25% what their monthly investment has to be. Um, so basically the best way to explain it to them is number one, uh, it helps you keep your volume. Number two, you need products. If you're trying to build a business without having new products coming in or fresh uh, new new products coming in to demonstrate, then you're not building your business. It's not paying for products. It is replenishing your supply because you're actually supposed to be using the products on yourself, on your family, on your prospects, as to, to guests at an event. You're supposed to be using these products. So when your replenishment comes in, you're supposed to be like, oh. I'm so glad it's here because I was running out because we're supposed to be using these products. So you, you don't want to you use it. You keep your replenishment so you don't lose the volume. You keep your replenishment because you don't want to uh, because you have to use the products because that's using the products is how you use the business, how you do the business. Um, the third thing is don't look at it as spending money and oh, why should I give them this money? You look at it as an investment in your business. You should have a supply of secret products at all times, and you need it coming in every single month because you're using it. It's like if I, I owned a burger restaurant, John and I own an upscale burger joint, and if we did not have hamburger patties, if we did not have hamburger buns, this was not going to be a successful burger joint. So it's the same thing. If you do not have a supply of products coming in, then you're not going to have a successful skincare company business. Now, some people are going to say, well, I don't need them until I use up all I have and I don't use them that fast because you're not putting mud on people. All right. People who are saying, well, I already have too much products and I'm not using them, then use the products. Okay. You're not using them on yourself. You're not using them on your family. You're not demonstrating the products. You're not giving away samples. You're not doing walk parties. And that's why people get upset about keeping a replenishment. Um, it's it, a person who doesn't understand who feels like, oh, why should I pay every single month? That's an employee mindset. That is, why should I spend money to work this job? I didn't, I didn't have to buy it. I didn't have to spend any money to work my job. And to that, I always say, you get what you pay for. How much money did you spend to work your job? Zero, you get what you pay for. Because that job can make you leave. That job can close down, fire you, do anything they want to. Yes, you're getting a check. And yes, you did not invest anything to get that check, but time. And you're trading time for money. And I'm not against jobs. I'm just saying when you have a job, though, you didn't invest anything to get the job. That's why they can control your future. That's why they control your hours. You may say I have vacation days, but they tell you if you can take them. You may have your sick days and you may have learned how to use your slick leave, but that job controls you. That part of your life, your job controls you. How much you earn, how much time you put in, how much time more you have to put in. Um, but when you make an investment and in business, which you do with secret, you can control your own destiny. And the sky truly is the limit. So you invest in a business where you have control, tax write-offs. And remember also, another reason is your, um, your products are, that's a tax write-off. So every month, 
you are able to write off this because this is a business expense. You could be at home just putting it on yourself. It's a business expense. Because guess what, guys? This advertises for us. This makes us money. When our skin starts improving, when we start looking better because of these products, this is working for us. So you may be putting this stuff all over you. Good. Use the products because this is your walking billboard. Put it on your family. That's the walking billboard. And that replenishment is a tax write-off. So real quickly, <clears throat> so why? how do I explain it's, it's uh, important to have it? Number one, the replenishment. They need to have um, they need to have it to keep their volume from flushing. And if you don't have volume, you don't get paid. That's the number one reason. If you got in this to, to earn money, um, you've got to keep your volume. You've got to keep your replenishment. Number two, okay. So you've got to keep it to number one for your volume. Save your volume so you can get paid. Number two, you got to be using the products on yourself and on your family and on your guests to demonstrate the product. So you must have a supply. All right, you gotta have a supply. Number three, you've got to have it for demonstrations. And number four, it's a tax write-off. So those are just some reasons why you have to have it. And the people who put more mud on people make more money. There are people who try to tip on it, you know, like here, try this little bit of peeling gel. They want to use just a little bit. The more you use, the more you demonstrate. The more you demonstrate, the more people buy from you. The more people buy from you, the more people join you. The more people join you, the more money you make. So put the products out there, use the products on yourself, on your family, on your product, on, on your prospects and reap the benefits. OK, so that's why we keep a replenishment. All right. Hi, Dylan and Rachel. Our questions are, how do you ensure people show up to a wild party? And how do you book a party from a party? All right. And I think uh, there's trainings on that. But let me just talk to you about this. I personally feel like the first thing we have to understand is uh, let me I'm going to do this, Dylan and Rachel and everyone else who's worried about this. First of all, we have to manage your expectations. Let me just start off by saying, everyone's not going to show up to your party. Okay? Let's just do that. Everyone's not going to show up to your party. Okay? And it's not because secret's bad. It's not because you're bad. It's because people lie. People get busy. Things come up in lives. Just like you haven't made it to everything you've, invited to, you've been invited to, they won't make it to everything they've been invited to. And one of those things will be your wild wow party. Okay? I'm going to manage your expectations. Right now, people won't show up. Now, it's not all of them, but they won't. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, and I want to clear that up because a lot of times people are thinking, well, if I just said this right, or if I had this tool, or if I did this differently, no, oh, people aren't going to show up, guys, because <clears throat> it's on their time, and their time is valuable. They've got things going on, and they just don't see the value yet. So you may have to follow up. So I just want to manage your expectations. Everyone won't show up. So. We don't get upset about that. What we do is we work, we focus on who is there, not worry about who isn't there. And then after we've taken care of the people who are there, then we go follow up with the people who weren't there and get in front of them, whether it's going to their house or inviting them again. Okay? Just want to manage expectations. But how can you get better at it? Number one, it's in your invitation. I personally believe it starts in the invitation. If you're a weirdo, you're probably not going to get them there. Okay, now I don't know Dylan and Rachel, so I'm not assuming anything, but what I, I'm not saying that they're, um, that they're weirdos. I'm just telling you that sometimes we are weirdos, guys. And I was referring to this before, when we just think about ourselves, when it's all about money, 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 and we're not speaking to their need, we have to make it interesting for them. And we need to be more attractive so they become attracted. So it's in your invitation. Remember, the less said, the best said. The whole goal is to get them to an event, <clears throat> correct? Our goal is not to pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm doing secret. Yeah, the products are awesome. <clears throat> 26 minerals, amazing stuff. We got products that get rid of wrinkles. Oh, you're not going to believe it. Oh, you want to sign up? Oh, you want to be an agent? Oh, you want a pro pack? Awesome. Give me your credit card. $1,600. That's not how it's going to work. But you know what? <laughs> I know y'all are probably thinking, this girl is crazy. But that is what happens to our agents when they get started. Because we don't manage their expectations. They are all pumped and they're excited. They forget that it took six weeks for them to show up to a wild party. They forget that it, got, it, forget, it took them another month to actually um, to get their money together. They forget all that stuff. Once they're in, they want everybody else in. And so they just want to just talk, sprinkle dust, and boom, everyone's in. It's the biggest package and they're the superstar overnight. So we've got to manage their expectations. That's not going to happen. Our goal is to pique their interest. Pique means, huh. I want to know more. Peak means get them to peak their interest to get to an event. Once they want to, once they come to the event, then we show them everything. Remember, if I can't show you everything, I'm really not going to show you anything. Meaning, 
I'm not going to pull out all my good stuff. I'm not going to pull out and for me, I'm just going to send you a video. Peak your interest. I'm going to send you another video. Peak your interest. I'm going to do a three-way call. Peak your interest. And then invite you to it. Maybe you can't come to my wild party, so I get you to, I come to your house. But I'm going to make sure I keep your interest peaked. Stay in front of you, all right? Maybe it takes six weeks. Maybe it only takes six days. But the truth of the matter is I'm going to stay there, keep dripping on you until you, I get a chance to show it to you, all right? So it's in the invitation, be attractive, use the tools to get them there. Um, I would also do a confirmation, a confirmation text or a call 24 hours or less before your party is supposed to start. So sometimes people say yes on a Tuesday to an event on Saturday and everything has happened. Friday, you should call them. Friday, you should text them. Friday, you should contact them and say, hey, we're still on for four tomorrow, right? You'll be there at four tomorrow. And they'll say, oh, I forgot. I've got to work overtime. That's okay. I'll come to you before you go to work or after you get off work. Or yes, I'll be there. Thanks for reminding me. That's what I would do. And then also the invitation, I would, I would let them know the value of them being there. You're going to have a great time. These products are amazing. The person you're going to meet off oh, is just so incredible. This person has helped me so much in the short amount of time that I've known them. Or they just remind me so much of you. They're really sharp, and I just really want you guys to meet. People come for people, not necessarily an event, okay? So those are the things that I would do. I would uh, confirm, I would do a better invitation using tools, not giving all my information. A lot of people don't understand why guests don't show up to events. And part of it is because they already know everything. Because you did all the talking. You talked for 25 minutes about everything. Or you caught them at Starbucks and you pulled out M4, Peeling Gel, Salt and Oil. You did everything. And they were like, okay, I got it. So why do I need to come to your house and see it all over again? So and remember, it's a movie preview. Everything, the invitation is a movie preview. You know, the movie previews are no more than three minutes, right? Three to five minutes. But the feature is two hours. So you just give them little snippets so they want to come see the whole thing. And that's what I suggest. I'm um, interested in becoming a success in my life, and how can I use secret effectively to change my life and others? Um, well, you just follow the system. Uh, here's the thing. Becoming a success is relative, right? I know some people who are making a lot of money, but they really aren't successful because their health is bad or their relationships with their family is miserable or they're just still not good people. Um, so, so success is relative. If you want to be a better person from the inside out, use secret by following our simple system. Use it as a vehicle to help others and not just yourself. Don't make it just about you. Make it about other people, okay? And then also realize that this is a journey, all right? And the joy truly is in the journey. I've been doing this for 15 years, and <clears throat> I've heard people say that, you know, when you once you make the money, you'll realize that there's more to it. And I'd be like, mm-hmm. All that, just let me make that money. Okay, you talk all that, all that Zen stuff, just let me get paid and then I'll be happy. And you know what? I did get paid. I got paid my first month. I got paid my second month. I reached the top of that company. I got to six figure income and I had good days and I had bad days. <coughs> I had people who told me yes and I still had people who told me no. Even now, I am very, very blessed financially with this great opportunity. And I still have people who tell me, no, nope, it's not for me. I have people who said, yes, sign me up. I still have good days. I still have bad days. I still get into arguments with my husband and always win them. No, don't tell him I said that. I still argue with my husband sometimes. I still have to pop my daughter because she is crazy. Um, I still need to lose weight. I mean, I make a lot of money. But I still have things that I need to work on. At the same time, I feel more fulfilled than I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, I get a chance to use my creative outlet for good when I thought, oh, this is a silly thing. I shouldn't be trying to do it. I should focus on my day job. I get a chance to make it my day job. So, I mean, it really is the journey. And over these past 15 years, who I've gotten a chance to become is the best part. Because you could take all of this away from me right now. And I'm just going to get it back. And I'm going to get it back faster because it's not what's outside of me that counts. It's what's in me. So use this opportunity to be around the best leadership in network marketing, to become the best person and to be on a journey that will turn you inside out and allow you to work on yourself from the inside out and get paid for it and help other people do it as well. And that is how you should use this opportunity. It's not about the money. And I know people have said that 
And you do need to make your money because as you make your money, you're going to get increased confidence. You're going to be able to uh, help more people. You're going to be happier about what you're doing because it's proof that it's working. Um, but at the same time, who you become is going to be the best part. Your friends should say, you, you're different. You talk different. And it shouldn't be just, or you look different. It shouldn't be just your clothes. It should be your skin. Um, it should be just your smile. It should be the twinkle in your eye. It should be who you are becoming. And so that's that's how you use this. Well, it's a low investment, amazing people where leaders actually care about you as you care about yourself and then you will be able to build a life for yourself part-time or full-time it's whatever happens uh where you can help others do the exact same thing um all right so how often do you follow up with vip customers let me do this really quickly uh and you know i just learned this from someone who has a, a great customer business and the first thing you should do is when you actually get that vip customer i personally believe you should send a text message to them the next day saying I know you're gonna love your products. Thank you for spending time to learn about Secret and thank you for supporting my business. I think the very next day after they signed up, you should sell them again on their decision where they don't go home and say, I just spent how much on what? You shouldn't do that. You should text them within 24 hours of them becoming a customer saying thank you. Thank you and your product should be there at this time. Once they get their products or they should get their products, I would then about uh, a day or a day or two after they're supposed to re re receive their products, text them or call them and make sure they got their. So I learned that Australian Australian uh, internet is not the best. Uh, so I'm going to keep talking, and someone text me if you can't hear me. So basically, uh, I think in 24 hours they should send it. They should receive a text from you thanking them. This is when you should expect a package. Uh, let's say like on Friday or Saturday, you text me, and I do receive my package. Or by Monday. Um, by Monday, what I think you should do is then I think by Monday or next couple of days, you should call me or text me and make sure I'm using my products. One thing, if you want to retain customers, make sure they use the product from, that they got from you. So if my whole thing was eczema or acne, make sure I am using those products. If I haven't opened it already, encourage me to open it. Go through the regimen with me again. All right, text me the regimen again, inbox me, email me, or just call me and say, you remember how you're supposed to use it? Yes, I'm excited. So I would, by the time I received my products, I would have been in touch with me three times. <laughs> what did I do? Two or three times, thanking me for, for, for being a customer, uh, making sure I know when it's gonna get there and making sure I have it, and then making sure I understand the regimen. So somewhere in there, two or three times by the time I get the products. Now, encourage me to use it. And then after that first, after I would do about a week or two after, you make sure I'm using it, text me again and say, how's it going? Uh, do you have the after picture for me yet? How's it, you know, let, this is awesome. How do you feel about it? And then after that, I would just do once a month um, just to see how things are going, watching their replenishments, make sure they're keeping it. Oh, and then also letting them know when the company comes out with promotions or new products. So, so if the company's doing a Father's Day sale, and I signed up with you before Mother's Day, you should tell me, uh, for Mother's Day, you should have talked to me thanking me <coughs> within 24 hours of getting uh, the products, thanking me for supporting and look forward to my product. 
And then another text uh, to say, hey, you received your products, right? Awesome. Make sure you use it. Make sure you remember the regimen. Uh, and then and then two weeks, I would do a week or two, make sure everything's going okay uh, and I'm using the product. And then every month or when the company has a new product. Uh, that's when I would do it. Now, booking a party from a party would really, I believe, come from this as well. Because some people are going to say, yeah, I'll host a party for you, but they won't give you a date. They won't immediately give you a time. You know, being really aggressive and pulling out your calendar doesn't always bode well with people. So sometimes you got to sow the seed and then reap it over time. So let's just say I said I want to try the products first before I invite my friends and family. Let's not be pushy about it. Just say, look, I understand because that's why I'm here. I love the products and that's why I'm doing this. So then after I get the products, I use them for about a week or two. If you couldn't get me to book the party right then, then say, hey, I know you're loving the products. Uh, how about some referrals? How would you love to host a party for me so you can get more free products? Um, and that's how I would do it. Um, I know there are people in the parties. I do ask for people in the party. Uh, would you like to host a party? And I only do that, just so you guys know, I don't make it part of my presentation in the flipbook. I know there's a page, but I really don't do that. Because I don't want to tell them how to get free products before I tell them how to buy products. That's not what I do. So after they signed up and Tiffany said, I love it, I'll be a VIP customer. I did, um, you know, I built my my regimen or whatever. Um, I, I, I pick and chose and I did all that stuff. Once I have that, then I would say, hey, you know, I would, how would you like to host a party? And I would say, yeah, that would be great. And then you go through that with me. And then I'd say, I would try to pull out a calendar then. Hey, uh, I have my calendar here. When's a good time for you? They may choose a date. And that's great. And they may, I may say, look, let me just see how I like it first before I invite my family to it. Understand. Then follow up with what, with what I just shared with you. Okay. Do you, oh, look at this. Okay. Do you use the time they have a recover mask on y'all have y'all I'm, I'm sorry i have to ask this question so this question says do you use the time they have the recover or mud mask on to talk about the opportunity yes guys have y'all been through the back office or is someone telling y'all something different this is how you do it the way you do it is you go through it and it's on the flip book when they have the mask on that is when you do the opportunity it only takes 10 to 15 minutes. You do not need a whiteboard. You do not need a white. If anybody is doing whiteboard presentations or circles and squares or drawing stuff, that is not the system. They are making up their own stuff. They are doing something they saw someone else do a long time ago. That's so old school. Whiteboard, circles and squares, that freaks people out today about network marketing. Let's get into the new millennium. So yes, and you use that time. Do you use every page of the flip chart for the opportunity? I struggle through this part as people kind of check out or get confused and think of it as a gimmick okay let me read this question again do you use the time they have the recover or mud mask on to talk about the opportunity do you use every page of the flip chart for the opportunity I struggle through this part as people kind of check out or get confused and think of it as a gimmick first of all I'm gonna say this to be totally frank with you that's in your mind that's totally in your mind um, a lot of times what we worry about doesn't even happen. It doesn't happen. Now their body language may not be great and they, and, and if their body language isn't into you, it's because you're not into the opportunity. Believe it or not, your confusion, your lack of, um, passion maybe, or your lack of confidence and posture is, is giving off that energy and they're giving you that energy back. It is very difficult for people to not be excited around an excited person. So if I'm excited about the opportunity, they can think it's a gimmick all they want, but they're going to be excited listening to me because I'm excited to share it with them. It's hard to ignore a person saying this is changing lives. Now, if you are freaking out and you're like, and you're worried about what they're thinking and you are looking at them like, oh, they looked away. They're not into this. Oh, they think it's a gimmick. That's what's in your head, sweetie. That's what's in your head, okay? So let's get that out of your head first. They aren't thinking anything. They're watching you. You control it. If you're excited, they'll be excited. Doesn't mean they'll sign up. It just means they're excited. And how is it a gimmick when people are getting paid? I have to talk about this. There are two groups. There are people who think all of it's about opportunity and all it's about products. 
When you think all you're supposed to do is go into a wild party and only talk products, you have set yourself up to be a traveling salesman. You have set yourself up to be chasing down customers to do wild parties when they just want to use their products. And you have set yourself up to never experience time freedom and leverage because you only get customers. Now, customers are vital. I get them. And they're going to be, most of the people, I believe at least two thirds of everybody who we talk to only wants to be a customer. But if you are not sharing the opportunity, you are keeping people from changing their lives. I am forever grateful to someone 15 years ago sharing the opportunity with me because that's why I'm in Australia with my family building a, on the other side of the world, a world that I had only read about in world book encyclopedia when I was a kid. And I'm here now. So you always share the opportunity. And if you understand the power of the opportunity, and if you remember that you join the opportunity, so that means someone else in that room will too, then your energy is different. They aren't thinking anything. It's you. It's what you're thinking. You put it on during the recover mask or the mud mask. It takes 10 to 15 minutes. It's an overview. Here is how I transition into it so they don't, and they don't ever think it's a gimmick. Everyone has on their masks. I tell them, so this mask is a once a week mask, has to stay on for 15 minutes. Basically, that's it. Then I tell them, so for the next 15 minutes, as your mask is working for you, I'm going to talk about how you can earn extra cash. Now, whoever, everybody needs to take notes on this because I'm gonna tell you something. <clears throat> If you do this transition into opportunity, you will get better results, you will feel better about sharing it, and you will be able to duplicate this to other people. The number one problem is not what they're thinking about the opportunity, it's what you're thinking, am I being weird because you love products and you're not comfortable about the money. You're not comfortable. And so you think because you're uncomfortable, they're uncomfortable. That's not it, they're watching you. And they only know what you know. They only feel what you feel. That's it, and remember, Everybody's gonna. Everybody's not gonna be interested, but it doesn't mean it's wrong to share. So, in fact, I'm gonna do this whole thing next week. I do a whole training on going into the comp plan, and so I will do that next week. But let me just share this with you to help you for the rest of your week uh, until next Tuesday. This is the transition I do, and get other people on next Tuesday because I know there's a whole bunch of people who are confused about this. I tell them it's a once a week mass. It stays on 15 minutes. For the next 15 minutes, I am going to share with you how you can earn extra cash with Secret. That's it. I'm going to show uh, extra cash, not build a big business, not get rich quick, not opportunity. People freak out about that extra cash. Everybody and their mama needs extra cash. So I'm going to share with you how you can earn extra cash with secret. First thing, it's a 15 minute mask. It's got to stay on. I Number two, I am going to share with you how you can earn extra cash with secret. Number three, this is what I do. I already know some people are open and some people are not. And that's okay with me. That's number three. I've been saying this for four years. Number three is, I already know some people are open to this and some people are not. And that's okay with me. You know why I'm saying that? Because it's true. Some people want to learn how they can make extra cash. Some people don't want to hear about it. That's not what they want. And that's the part you're dealing with. You're dealing with your kind of guilt or your uncertainty that you already know some people aren't interested. It's okay. There are a lot of people who weren't interested in network marketing that are network marketers, AKA myself. I grew up with a very low opinion of network marketing and I am a proud one today. That doesn't mean you don't tell them about it. It just means we are very clear. Some are open and some are not, and that's okay with me. You know what you just did? You just let them know, baby, it is all right. If you don't wanna make no money, I'm okay with that. And this is the attitude you need to have on the inside of you. And this is going to make them now more interested. When you tell them it doesn't matter to me, now they want to know what you're talking about. But when you act like you're scared, they come in for the kill or they act worse and disinterested. And so this is what you have to tell them. Some are, are open and some are not. And that's okay with me. And then you're going to say, but I'm going to tell you how you can earn extra cash with secret for the following reasons. That's number four. But I'm going to tell you how you can earn extra cash with secret for the following reasons. And this, so basically, I tell them some of you are open and some of you are not. And that is okay with me. And then I tell them, but I'm still going to tell you about it. I'm still going to tell you about it. That's what I do. I tell you some of you don't even want to hear this, basically. But I'm still going to tell you about it. And for the following reasons. Reason one, the timing is incredible. It's amazing. The timing is amazing. 
It doesn't matter where you are, if you're in Australia, if you're in Battle Creek, Michigan, the timing to do secret is amazing. And I don't want you to hear about this at, and, and say, and not hear about this and say, I wasn't at the right place at the right time. So the first reason is the timing. The timing for secret is amazing. You couldn't look at this at a better time. And I never want anyone to say, I wasn't at the right place at the right time. That's what I say. Second reason is, this is the second reason. And I say the second reason I'm going to share this with you is because maybe it's not for you. I already told them. Remember, we already said some are open and some aren't. Maybe it's not for you, but I know you know someone who needs to change their life. Or I know you know someone who's looking for something to help them financially. Or whatever. The key is I know you know someone. So the first reason is the timing. It's amazing. The second reason is maybe it's not for you, but I know you know someone. I know you know someone. And I want you to just stay open and get this information so you can share it with them when you come across them. So you can help them by telling them about secret. So here's why I do that. Number one, everyone loves great timing. Timing piques people's interest. They're like, ooh, good timing. They'll never do anything, but they just want to be first. So tell them the timing is great. And guess what? The timing in secret is going to be great for the next 10 years. So the timing is always going to be great. Timing is not great just because it was four years ago at the beginning. In fact, that timing was not great. We had a lot of people who quit because we didn't have a back office. We didn't have tools. Okay. I keep going on, but I want you to understand that the timing is great. First reason. Second reason. Maybe it's not for you, but you do know someone. I know you know someone who's looking for a way to earn some extra cash or change their lives. I just want you to get this information so you can share it with them. Now, here's what that does. That makes a person who thinks they're too good for network marketing. That person that you see check out. That person that you worried about, like, oh, why should I be doing this? They think it's a gimmick. That person who thinks they're too good for what we're sharing, that person who's like, that person who's doing that, now it changes that person's attitude and makes them go, you know why? Because you spoke to them. You're dealing with objections the whole time. You said this, that I know people aren't interested. That's okay with me. You already told them that you're not going to hurt my feelings by acting like you don't care. And you have to believe that. That's why we say it, okay? And then you say, you may know someone. It may not be for you. So I'm sitting here like, mm, it's not for me. I'm too good for this. And then you just basically say, look, the second reason is it may not be for you. You just read their mind. They go, is she in my head? And the answer is, yes, we are. And then the third, and then you say, um, it may not be for you, but you know someone. And now you've changed their whole perspective on this. I'm too good for network marketing, but my brother needs something. I'm too good for this, but I have a friend who's always looking to earn extra cash. Now you just reframe their thinking on listening to your opportunity presentation. And now what you've done is you've made them pay attention. Now they're thinking, okay, let me look at this for my loser friends. And guess what they're going to find? That they need it too. And then the third reason, and this is where you keep it light because we made it serious. It's timing. You can help, you know, it may not be for you, but you can help someone else. The third reason is, the third reason um, is, and this is where you keep it light, uh, because uh, because you got to listen to me because I just love this, or because I travel all the way across town, okay, and y'all going to pay attention to me. See, I'm a very funny person. I just crack people up, so I have no problem telling my joke, and it doesn't matter if no one laughs or not, I'll laugh at myself and keep it moving. Um, but some people, you know, I, I used to say because, I've got to help you take off your mask so you better pay attention or you can't take off your mask without me. Some people just don't have the confidence. I had somebody say, oh, oh, you should never say that. Now you're saying that you're tricking them. Whatever. They know what's going on. They got the mask on the face. I'm talking about money. There ain't no reason to talk about it. But here's what I am saying. The third reason you should just say, because I love talking about secret and y'all got to listen to me. But you just need the third reason to be something light because we hit them hard. I know some of you are open, some are not. And that's okay with me. But I'm going to tell you anyway for the next three reasons. Number one, the timing. Number two, it may not be for you, but you help someone else. Now you want to say number three and put a smile on their face before you delve back in. That is speaking one-on-one. -on -one. You hit them. You hit them in their head, and then you put a smile back on their face. You, 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 you get them emotional, and then you bring them back up. That's speaking one-on-one, -on -one, okay? You always want to just kind of not keep it down where they just go, oh, 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 oh. You want to bring them back up, and that's why you need a joke. And so that's why a lot of people don't understand, and they're like, oh, well, I don't, 
I'm not funny. Just say, look, because I love this. We're going to have a great time. Or because earning extra cash, the third reason is earning extra cash in secret is fun. And I love having fun. I don't care. Come up with something that puts a smile on your face. Make sure it's not inappropriate. Some of y'all think you're funny and y'all stuff is just weird. But um, but put a smile on your face and it'll put a smile on their face and then you go into your opportunity. All right. I'm going to go over this next week because people really need this. And now I'm a minute over time. But I want you guys to understand. And the reason why I don't answer you guys' questions in 60 seconds is because it's training and nuances that you need. These questions, I break it down so this will never be an issue for you again. And I want you to use those three steps. Whoever asked that question or whoever was thinking about that, I hope you took notes on those three things that I just said. OK, what I just said, how to do that inbox me do some presentations one-on-one -on -one, a wild party i don't care and inbox me tiffany malott personal blog inbox me on that okay tiffany malott now tiffany beverly malott do tiffany malott personal blog inbox me and say this worked this didn't work uh, i think I, I mean they stayed more interested but i need to do this and i will help you on that but i'm telling you you are the speaker you control the information and if you control the information, they will watch what you watch. And as a speaker, you have to understand some people's body language will never be what you want it. And that's what a lot of you are dealing with. A lot of you are dealing with, you think because you're excited, everyone should be like, they should be watching it like, they're not, they're not. They're prospects, they're guests. You know what I mean? They're just like, I don't know if I want to do this. Well, I don't know how long this is going to take. It's okay. It's our job to get them excited. And it's the perfect time to show them the money because they've fallen in love with the products already. Show them how they can earn extra cash. And then I'm going to wrap up this question with this. And why wouldn't you show someone how to change their life with a secret opportunity when someone shared it with you? It's not fair, guys. It's not fair because it's easier for you to just do products and sell them products and try to get them to host parties for you and not tell them because of your lack of comfort on the opportunity, on sharing the conversation, to keep them in the dark about an opportunity that can change their lives and then, but then sending all these referrals to you where you pocket the cash and you don't show them how to make the cash. So you got to get over that. You, 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 and you, whoever is having a problem with that, I hope you took notes on this. Let me, I got one more question. How can someone who is just starting and is unemployed or on a fixed income, keep buying replenishments every month when they have no customers yet or only have a few customers. Okay, guys. Okay. I'm going to answer this last question um, for this person. And I'm going to say it again. How can someone who is just starting and is unemployed or on a fixed income keep buying replenishments every month when they have no customers yet or only have a few customers? So let, let me just say this. This business is a business, okay? It is a business. If this was a Subway franchise, a person would not ask the CEO of Subway or a trainer for Subway, um, how is it if I'm unemployed and I opened a Subway, how am I supposed to keep buying the bread that I have to bake fresh daily? So it's a business. I make way more money than people doing Subway. I have people who are frustrated with their income in, in secret, mad, because they're not making more. And they make <clears throat> more money than a person who owns a Subway franchise. And their investment was not more than $1,500 to $1,700. And a Subway franchise owner has to invest fifty dollars to, I think, $80,000. OK? So to this person who's asking, it's a very good question. But I may have to be tough but tender with you, okay? So if it hurts a little bit, it's because I have to share this with you. This is a business and there is an investment. <clears throat> Secret cannot change its rules because of a person being unemployed. And, and, and network marketing was designed to be done part-time. And it was not designed for an unemployed person to join this business and then not work. And then work their business and not get a job. In fact, the greatest business philosopher of network marketers is Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn said the power is the power of the part-time story. The power is in the part-time story. So I'm going to share with you, if you're unemployed, you need to get a job. You need a job. You need another source of income because Jim Rohn said the power is in the part-time story. Having a few customers as an employed secret agent is awesome. Because a few customers is $500 a month. A few customers is, could be $100 to $200 a month. But guess what? 
$200 a month and a $50 replenishment and four customers and free product is amazing when you have a job. But if you are unemployed, a few customers seems, oh, this is terrible. A couple hundred dollars, I can't pay no bills with this because you weren't supposed to be paying all your bills with this. You were supposed to have a job and you were supposed to work part-time on your fortune while you work full-time on your job. So people, a business, a per, the person who asked this question, how are they supposed to keep buying replenishments when they don't have customers or they have a few customers? They're supposed to use the replenishment. It's supposed to be reinvested in their business. Their money from their customers is supposed to be reinvested. If they don't have customers, they need to go get customers and agents. And if they, and I would guess if they don't have customers, I would bet that they didn't have a package. They probably don't have a lot of products. <clears throat> they probably couldn't afford a package. So that's why they don't have customers because they don't have products to demonstrate because they're unemployed. So this question is really the root of this is our philosophy. The root of this is our philosophy and it goes all the way to, you got to get a job. Secret is not a get rich. Secret is not a job. Secret is a business that we're supposed to work part time. And I'm saying this to the unemployed, the underemployed, the fixed income. Those are tricky. I understand. But if you've got to have some money, it takes money to make money, guys. Now, you don't have to spend all your money. But if you don't have if you don't have customers, it's probably because you don't have products. And if you have products, it's probably because you don't have a job because you don't aren't around people to share this with. And what I really challenge you to do is go get a job. And let me just say this right quick. There is a book, old book by Robert Kiyosaki called Before You Quit Your Job. And it's about what you should do as an entrepreneur before you quit your job. Get that book. Get that book. And if you don't have a job right now, go get a job. Go get a job. And some people are like, oh, well, there's no jobs in my field. Then get a job outside your field. Get a job outside your field, okay? Four years ago, four and a half years ago, I was gonna go back to work because our last company, I couldn't represent them anymore. We had a, we had some money and savings and we knew we were leaving. John was looking for a network marketing company. Guess where Tiffany was gonna go? That's where Tiffany was doing, getting a job. I was looking for a job. You know why? Because I would rather be able to feed my daughter and keep the lights on and have a, a job and, and have a job do it than to be an unemployed network marketer that can't feed my family, that can't keep my lights on, and is not looking like the provider, the mother, the leader of my family that I'm supposed to. So to that person, to those people, because it's not just one, get a job. I don't care if it's Home Depot, stock some shelves, and recruit the employees there. I don't care if, I don't care where you go. I don't, I don't care. Get something because a job will give you an income where you won't be worried about keeping a replenishment. A job will give you people to talk to so you will have more than zero customers. And a job will surround you with people. It will surround you with people who's looking for extra cash because this job is not enough. It will also help you manage your time better because you don't need 12 hours a day to build secret. So, and with that, I'm going to be done. I don't know if y'all signed off, but that was it. So to that person, I love you. And I say this in love. And I'm not saying this because I make money now. I'm saying this because four and a half years ago, I was going to get a job. 15 years ago, I started with the job. Um, I actually quit my job too soon. And I have, and I paid for it dearly when I, in my first company. And if you don't have a job right now, Secret cannot, you are not, if you can't afford a replenishment, you're not going to get 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 250,000 a year until you get a job, reinvest that money, invest the time and help some other people. So uh, with that, guys, I hope this helps. Um, I hope you guys are promoting this. Other people promote the replay. It will be on our websites, uh, on our Facebook pages, excuse me, John Malott, uh, both John Malott and Tiffany Beverly Malott and Tiffany Malott. And I love you guys. And I love you guys. And that's why I do what I do. Um, I want you to experience lifestyle. I want you to go through the journey and experience what it feels like to go from a caterpillar, a financial caterpillar to a financial butterfly. I want you to feel what it, what it feels like, know what it feels like to be a leader, a caterpillar leader, and then one day a butterfly leader. And I will tell you guys that truth is great leadership. It doesn't always feel good, but it will always help you do better. 
And so I hope this helps everyone. Thank you for your awesome questions. I hope this was good for you. And uh, go put some mud on people. That's what we're about to go do down here in Australia. And we've got to, we, we've got to do that all over the world. The world needs secret. And you guys are the ones that can help us make it happen. Thank you so much. Have an incredible week. And I'll see you back here next Tuesday.